welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. Today is a What I Eat Wednesday. I'm gonna be sharing with you everything that I ate throughout the day. You're gonna see a couple of hauls. Come with me to my open house, see Diesel and Lola. It's going to be a great day. And I have a pizza recipe for you at the end of this video and a review on the Trader Joe's Butternut Squash pizza crust because that is what I'm using for my pizza. So if you wanna see what I eat in a day to lose weight on WW Freestyle and come along for some fun, just keep watching. Look what came today, you guys. Not only did I get my Smart Cakes order, but I also got the brand new Vanilla Latte Smart Cake. So before I tell you about this one, I also wanna let you guys know that I ordered the muffins. A lot of you have been asking me about the Smart Muffin. They are supposedly three points. I'm gonna wait until I get them to figure the points out myself, but they are on the way. So I ordered some Smart Cake. So first I ordered my two very favorite flavors, which is lemon. I love this one. It is great for summer. It's a bright, fresh lemon flavor. This is really good with the toasted coconut vanilla yogurt, vanilla yogurt, so good. It's actually really good with the strawberry cheesecake as well. So I got two boxes of the lemon, and then I also got two boxes of the raspberry cream. This one I also like with the strawberry cheesecake. This one is fabulous with the vanilla, so good. So you get four cakes per box or two packages essentially. So I got eight cakes lemon, eight cakes raspberry, and then I got four cakes well, six, but I've already tried one of the Vanilla Latte Smart Cake, you guys. This is amazing. If you love coffee, if you love vanilla, if you love the sweetness of like a vanilla latte, this is amazing. It also has 16 milligrams of caffeine per cake, and they are still only one smart point. So you can't beat it. And they are low carb. In fact, they are keto friendly for those of you following keto. But if you have not ordered the vanilla latte, highly recommend you add some to your next smart baking company order. So on the screen here is my code. You'll get 10% off of your order. You just go to smartbakingco.com. The link is down in the description box. But you guys, definitely pick up the vanilla latte smart cake. Delish. So here is my breakfast for today. I am so excited you guys so what i have here is i have two of the western bagel alternative pumpkin bag lets and this is what they look like so they are the miniature pumpkin spice bagels from western bagel these are amazing they are so good they're pumpkiny they have that nice chewiness of a real authentic high point high calorie bagel absolutely delicious western bagel is amazing when you go over to their website you can use my code here on the screen you'll get 10 percent off of your order and they do have quite a few build your own box options make sure you are buying the bagels that say alternative because those are the lower calorie lower point bagels you can pick and choose what kinds sizes you want in your box and the box offers free shipping and then you can use my 10 percent off code on top of they're free shipping. So it is just a win-win situation. Highly recommend these little baglets. They are not around long. They are seasonal. They are amazing. So you can have one baglet. This is the size of them. That is exactly what they look like. You can have one for one point or two for three points. So I opted just to have two baglets. And then on my little pumpkin baglets from Western Bagel, which I'm really excited about, is my favorite cream cheese. This is the Trader Joe's pumpkin cream cheese. This is so good. You can have two tablespoons for three points, or you can have a little over a tablespoon of the pumpkin cream cheese for only two smart points. So I have two bagels with a little over a tablespoon total of the pumpkin cream cheese on it. And again, you guys check out the Western bagels, head on over, order some bagels. You're going to love them. My code will get you 10% off. So you can't beat it. 
And then I have two just over easy eggs, and then I'm gonna have some mandarin oranges. So my bagels are three points, my cream cheese is two, everything else for breakfast is zero. So this, my friends, is my five smart point breakfast. Can you believe I have frosty grass, you guys? My grass is frosted over already, and it is only the beginning of October. I have a feeling we are not gonna have a nice, calm, smooth winter like we did last year. Happy what I eat in a day. This looks familiar. Bubba, hi buddy. Hi, Diesel. Yeah, you being a good boy, you relaxing? Oh, good boy, buddy. I sure love you. Hey, I can't see you. Hey, hi buddy. <laughs> hi. So Diesel's relaxing here, and then little Missy over here looks awfully cozy. Did you dig out my side of the bed again? Yeah, you're using my blanket as a pillow. Yep, so the traditional what I eat in a day action. Well, it's that time, morning snack time. It's about 9.30. I'm gonna be having my favorite Bilt Bar. I am loving the peanut butter Bilt Bar. This is, of course, the peanut butter. Here's your nutritional information. 170 calories, 20 grams of protein. That is crazy. Seven grams of fiber, three sugar, and seven fat. Full of healthy fat because this is made with organic peanut butter. In this bar are little chunks of peanuts. It is delightful absolutely delightful it is delicious because of the extra punch of fat and protein this thing keeps you full the chocolate is thick the consistency of the inside is a little different than the regular built bars it's a little more solid a little more nougaty than marshmallowy i love it it is four smart points all of the rest of the built bars are three smart points but in my opinion i will any day of the week give you an extra smart point for peanut butter any day of the week. So this is going to be my morning snack. It is four points. If you'd like to order Built Bar, my code is here on the screen. It'll save you 10% and also gives you free shipping. Down in the description box is a direct link. So if you go through the link, it'll automatically apply the 10% off in free shipping. Or you can go to their website and use my code here on the screen. Pick yourself up some Built Bars and don't be afraid of the one extra point for the peanut butter because it is so worth it. So if you follow me on Instagram, I hopped on and let you know that I made a fun little trip to Home Goods. Now, I don't go to Home Goods very often because it's about at 40 minutes, 50 minutes from my house. But I went there for two things. One, a cute little Halloween sign for my shelf in my kitchen. And two, for a soap dispenser for Halloween, which I did not find. But as you can see, I came out of Home Goods $150 later. That's what happened. So let me show you what I picked up. I found some great things so first i spied the skinny serps pumpkin caramel foam whipped foam topping now this is awesome to put on just black coffee not a fan really on iced coffee you can put this on uh yogurt it's just kind of a fun thing to have it's zero points it's zero calories so i grabbed the pumpkin caramel whipped topping really excited about that and then i have been on the hunt for a fork and spoon for so incredibly long that goes with my kitchen. You know my kitchen is gray and white with black hardware, and I saw these on my way out. So it's the silver fork and spoon with the black kind of distressed handle. It is so cute. They were $10 a piece. I had to get them. Uh, I'm gonna be putting these up on the wall in my kitchen, so I'll show you guys that at a later time, but had to pick those up while I was there. I needed a new small colander. I had just a cheapy one from the Dollar Tree, and the handle cracked, and it just, isn't very, it's not very user friendly. So I picked this one up. This one was really cute. It was $7.99. Oh, and by the way, the foamy stuff was $4.50. So grab that. I did find a cute little sign for the shelf in my window or the window in my kitchen. It says more booze, please. And then it has cute little pumpkin and bats on it. And it was $5.99. So not a bad price. Super cute. It was really the only long skinny one that they had. So I grabbed it. And then I've been on the hunt for some fun pans for my videos and I found these. These match my kitchen perfectly. They have the white and gray kind of marbled handle with the gray speckled pan. I love these. I wish that they would have had the medium size because I would have grabbed it as well. These are heavy duty. They're gorgeous. I really needed some new pans. Mine are just getting kind of old. They get a lot of use. So these are awesome. 
$16.99 for the large pan, $9.99 for the small. Couldn't pass them up. And on that same note, I grabbed this cute miniature, well not miniature, but smaller cookie sheet with that same gray, black, and white speckle as the pans. And this was $5.99. So I ended up throwing away all of my cookie sheets and starting fresh because they were just old, used, tattered. So I grabbed the small one just so that I have all the sizes. And I've been looking for one of these cute little pedestals for a long time. And this one is the perfect size, the perfect shape for my kitchen. This was $7.99. And I want to use this to put my hand soap and dish soap on. It's just kind of the new trend to put them on these little pedestals by your sink. So really was stoked to find that. And then over here, I found these bowls. And I, if you remember, I hauled the alabaster glass plates. I love my alabaster glass plate, but I grabbed these bowls. These were on clearance for $5 a piece. And these are the perfect size for salads, soup, you know, large portion uh, that you need a bowl for. My husband will probably use it for cereal, but perfect size for big salads for dinner. So I picked up one for each of us. So two at $5 a piece was a steal. And then this plate. Let's just talk about this plate. Now they have the entire set. They had salad plates, bowls, I almost got them, but I wasn't sure that my husband would like them because they're glittery and they're really not the right color for our house. If they would have been silver, I probably would have bought an entire set, but I bought one because you know, I like to have pretty plates when I'm filming my videos and this plate was only $3.99. So really, really good deal. Huh, I might have to see if they come out with a silver version because I would like an entire set. I also had to pick up a coffee mug. This is a Ray Dunn. It's black and it says morning. Now the reason I wanted this is because my white ones discolor pretty bad with coffee and tea. So I wanted one that was black and I thought that it might hold up a little bit better with black coffee and you know the darker teas, the Earl Greys, that type of thing. And this mug was $6.99. So if you're a Ray Dunn fan and you live in my area, Home Goods has, we have so much stuff, shelves and shelves and shelves of Ray Dunn. So I picked up the mug that says morning. And then I got this beautiful table runner. I'm really excited about this. I have a leaf one for fall, but I wanted this for Thanksgiving. And you guys, these pumpkins are sweater material. So cute. It has that glittery background and this cute little fringe on the bottom with the orange piping. Love it, $16.99. So this is going to be the table runner that I use for Thanksgiving. And then the thing I'm most excited about, as weird as this might sound, is this board. So this is a teak cutting board, but I primarily want this for filming. Since my counters are quartz and they're white with that little bit of gray, everything just kind of drowns out on the counter. The food when I'm using white bowls. So I wanted something strictly to film on. So as soon as I saw this, it was a fall oh, from heaven and I knew this is what I needed. So this teak cutting board slash Jen's filming board, $19.99. Really, really excited about this. It's big. It'll be perfect to film on. Yeah, really, really excited. So I picked that up. So that's everything that I grabbed from Home Goods. And again, my total was about $150. Oh my gosh, you guys, I ate most of my salad before I remembered I was filming today. So I apologize. But this is my lunch. This was that copycat Chick fil A superfood salad. Oh my gosh, it is so good. So good. So I'm really glad that I made that. And again, I apologize. It's got the walnuts, the cherries, the kale, and that dressing. It is amazing. So that is five smart points. And then over here, I have some of the Tyson blackened chicken strips. These are zero smart points. So that is going to be a little bit of added protein. And then for dessert, I'm going to have one of the Choco Wright peanut butter cup packages. Each package is two smart points. So my lunch half eaten lunch is a total of seven smart points. So I am here at my open house. I'm gonna turn you guys around and kind of show you a little bit of where I am. Such a pretty area. So I'm here from one to three today. I did notice when I pulled in to the development area, there's quite a few open homes in this area. My client kind of men mentioned that, so I'm hoping that that will drive some people over here since they're in the general area looking at the open houses. So. Cross your fingers, this is our last pretty much ditch effort to get their house sold 
and I'm still flabbergasted as to why it's not sold. So I'm at my open house. This is my listing with my clients and I just wanted to show you guys. Look at this is their front window. You're overlooking the 17th hole of the golf course. Such a cute pocket neighborhood. Shocked beyond all measure that this house has not sold. It's been on the market now for about 30 days. It is so cute. It's big and wide and open and the backyard is amazing. Look at this with this pretty grape arbor. Yeah, not sold. So wish me luck today. Hopefully this house sells and my clients can move into the one that they've already purchased. home from my open house I am starving so I'm gonna have one of my healthy eating all the time and go peanut butter granola bar with cranberry I just want to point out how amazing these bars are they are six to seven points I count them as six points I've mentioned I'm a little bit of a WW rebel when it comes to these bars I count them all as six points they range in calories from 195 to 200 but they are all natural whole ingredients there is nothing artificial in these this one is my all 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 time favorite and this one has oats peanut butter sunflower seeds almonds unsweetened coconut flakes honey cranberries and coconut flour that's it so as natural as you can get as whole ingredient and these are so good you can buy these off of the heat and go website on the screen is a 12 percent discount for you from the owner of the company it is not an affiliate link it is just something i told her i would share with you guys because i love these bars so if you're looking for a great snack a little point heavy but a good snack or even a meal replacement check these out lola lou what are you doing what you doing get him get him oh why no Tell me stories. Tell me. Oh, yeah. Tell mommy stories. Good girl. Oh, yeah. Tell mommy. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. Everyone's here. So for my dinner tonight, I'm going to make pizza. So I'm going to be trying the Trader Joe's butternut squash pizza crust that I hauled in my fall haul. I have yet to try this. I have heard that it is absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna give that a try. Here are your nutritional information. I'll put the points here on the screen per serving and also what the points would be for the entire crust. It looks like it's fairly small. I've heard it's delicious, so I'm really excited. So I'm gonna cook that up for myself. And then I have a jar of the Skinniest Dish Crock-Pot Marinara. Of course, this is zero points no matter how much you have. And then I'm going to put some turkey pepperoni, probably one serving of turkey pepperoni on the pizza. And then some of the Trader Joe's organic shredded mozzarella cheese. And then I'll actually probably top it with a little bit of fat-free mozzarella cheese as well. So let's put together this pizza. So for our pizza, here is the crust. So this is the size of the pizza. It's not too bad, actually. It is definitely orangey, like squash. So what I did is measured out one ounce of the Trader Joe's mozzarella cheese. I also have some fat-free cheddar cheese just to bulk up the cheesiness. 19 slices of the Kroger turkey pepperoni, which is two smart points. And then of course, my skinniest dish marinara. So I'm going to first put a layer of marinara on my crust. The crust is frozen. It does say to cook from frozen. So I did not thaw out the crust. So that's a little tip with this. Also the marinara sauce again is zero points, no matter how much you use. So I'm going to put on just a pretty thin layer over the 
crust of my pizza. I'm going to keep it away from the edge, anywhere from half of an inch to an inch away from the edge, only because I don't want it to overflow when cooking and it makes it too hard to eat also. So that is looking good. And then let's go ahead from here. And this marinara sauce, you guys, is the best. I will link it down below. It's the skinniest dish crock pot marinara. So once you add on your marinara sauce, let's go ahead and put on about half of our pepperoni. We're gonna kinda do some layers. We'll do about half our pepperoni here, and then we'll do about half our cheese, and then another half of our pepperoni, and so on and so forth. So there we go. And then let's go ahead and put on our mozzarella. And again, this is one ounce total, and one ounce of this cheese is only two smart points. So not too bad, and it is really delicious really pricey but really delicious mozzarella cheese and a good substitute for the light trader joe's that's not available right now unfortunately that should be back this year in 2020 so let's go ahead and add the rest of our slices of pepperoni and then we will top it with just a little bit of our fat-free cheese and again that just kind of bulks up the cheese of our pizza and this, you can have a quarter cup of the fat-free cheese for zero points. So I'm gonna be putting a quarter of a cup total over my pizza here, so it will be zero points. And even if you only ate a slice or two of the pizza, it would definitely be zero points because you wouldn't have a quarter of a cup on one slice or two slices of the pizza. So there we have it. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. So there is our butternut squash pepperoni pizza. So I'm gonna get my husband's ready and we'll get these into the oven. So I just pulled my pizza out of the oven. This looks so good. So I'm going to have half of the pizza. So let me plate it up and I will be back to show you my serving and give you the smart points. So here is half of the pizza. The other half is right there for later. So half of the crust is only five smart points. If you eat the entire crust, it is 11. So I decided to have half of the crust. I have a total of four points between the pepperoni and the cheese on the entire pizza. So that's an additional two points, one for pepperoni, one for cheese. So half of the pizza on the Trader Joe's butternut squash crust is only seven smart points. So this is my seven smart point dinner. My Sips by box came. You know I'm loving this box. This is a tea subscription service. That I, have in, that I have signed up for, I love it. I go through most of the teas every month. It comes monthly to your doorstep, and this is what it looks like. It is seriously so cute, you guys. It comes with your little card here that talks about the teas for the month. So of course, these are my October teas. And you can see it says made for Jen. So everything is made specifically for you. So let's go over what is in my box for October. So my first tea is an organic cold cup chai. This is a caffeine free tea. Uh, I love chai tea. So I am really excited about that. And then we have a caramel vanilla cup of cake. Um, yes, please. That is high caffeine tea. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. I love me some cupcakes. Mint matcha. I've really been enjoying matcha tea. And lastly, we have a reishi mushroom with rubios and orange peel. Hmm, from traditional medicines. Interesting, mushroom and tea, I don't know about that. So we'll have to definitely give it a try. But every month you get four types of tea and you get four bags of each of the teas. So this is what the inside of your box looks like. So you're gonna get four bags of each. So this is the matcha mint. So this is by Tipson Tea. So I'm actually really excited about that. What I also like about Sips By is if I'm loving this matcha tea, you can see here that they give me a discount. So if I go to the Tipson website, tip Tips and Tea USA, then I can use Tips and 20 and get 20% off. So if you find a tea that you really, really like and it's something that you wanna buy a full box of, Sips By always gives you a discount. So that's really, really cool. So that's the matcha. This is the traditional medicinals organic reishi mushroom with rubios and orange peel. I, again, not sure about this whole mushroom thing, but I'm imagining that you're gonna get more of that orange peel taste in this. So I'm really excited to try this. It is caffeine free. Actually, they sent me two caffeine free teas, which is exciting. This one is medium caffeine. This one is caffeine free. So it'd be really good to have at night. So I'm excited about it. I'll try it. Hopefully I like it. 
I am really excited about this one. This is the Cup of Cake Teas, and this is in the Caramel Vanilla. And this particular one is a high caffeine tea. So this would be good midday for that little bit of a boost of energy. Fine black tea with caramel and natural vanilla flavor. So this is from the Republic of Tea Company. So I am really excited about that one. And then lastly, I have the Stash Organic. So this is an organic tea. And this is the Gold Cup. Oh, I said Cold Cup, didn't I? I apologize. Gold Cup Chai. I love chai. And again, another caffeine free. So what I do is at night when I'm watching TV and I'm feeling kind of hungry, like I want a little snack, I'll often brew myself a cup of tea because it is flavor. So it makes me not want to snack when I'm out of points or maybe I don't want to eat too late before I go to bed. So these caffeine free teas come in really nice and handy. So love that. So basically you are going to get four bags of each tea each month. And then always at the bottom of your box, they always have some sort of a cause, which I love about Sip Spy. So this month is regarding stash. So you get 10% off all your stash tea. Better Business, Better World. So they're a certified B Corporation with farmers and suppliers who also believe that doing it right means more than just creating great tea. It's sourcing the best all natural ingredients with the planet and consumer in mind. So it's really cool. They always have some sort of a little education piece in the bottom of your box. So I love it, love it, love it, love it. So that is my October tea box. If you're interested in Sip Spy, I don't have an affiliate link or anything, but I do have $5 off of your first box. So that would make your first box $10. It's generally $15 a month, which is not bad you guys not bad at all for quite a few bags of tea what is that four teas four bags of tea 16 bags of tea for $15 so less than a dollar a bag shipped to your doorstep plus you get those discounts if you want to stock up on the tea that you really love and again you get to customize and let them know what types of teas you're interested in so that they send you what you would actually enjoy so five dollars off is here on the screen Check out Sips by kind of a fun thing to have delivered to your doorstep each month. So for dessert tonight, I'm going to have two of my Trader Joe's chocolate chip meringues. You can have two for three smart points. That'll leave one left over for another day, and this will round out my night. So three smart points for my dessert. Thank you for joining me on this week's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I ate today, the pizza, all of that, the crust. The crust was really, really good and extremely low smart points. My open house went well, the dogs are doing well, and the halls were so fun. It's so fun for me to share all of this with you. I know you guys really like the What I Eat in a Days. I know you guys really like the vlogs. And just stay tuned. I am doing Vlogmas, which means that there will be a lot of day in the life vlogs coming your way in the month of December. So if you're new to my channel, definitely subscribe and hit the bell. You don't want to miss anything that's coming your way over the holidays. I have baking, I have recipes, I have Vlogmas, and I have a lot of fun. So make sure you join my channel. Thumbs up this video comment down below let me know what was your favorite part of my day today I'd love to interact with you guys in the comments please know that I can't always answer every comment but I will absolutely give you a big loving heart on your comment I appreciate them so much thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye guys